Whoops. Oh no. Look at that. I broke the GoPro. Oh my god, I don't even see the truck. Where is the truck? Damn. Oh man, look at the body. The body's all smashed. I broke my GoPro. Yay. I broke my truck. Yay. Um, looks like I also damaged the body pretty good too. Oh, that's right. I forgot. And I broke the GoPro body clip mount that I used to secure the GoPro to the actual vehicle. That snapped right off. Yep. this fix that you'll be okay you don't need me uh, in fact uh, when you do need me let me know I'll uh, I'll get some sleep over here while I wait for you to fix my truck to fix your truck this is our truck bro you better get over here and help me with this man that's a bullshit guys welcome back to the channel today is nothing to do with computers although this is a whole nother mess for a whole nother video the damage report is in guys the damage report is in if you look at the front dvd or cvd drives uh the actual shafts uh they're pretty bent um like especially <laughs> especially which one is it one of them's real bad I think it's this one yeah you can you can see it see how it curves yeah it, it's pretty bent and it's real bent and then this one right here the other side it's pretty straight except for right there you can see the bend in it right there you can see the bend so anyway um, I replaced those the fronts both of the fronts now. Here's my idea I want the truck to sit lower to the ground that way we can lower the center of gravity, right? Okay, so hear me out This is the normal shock position notice the height of it what I did is I removed the body post right and then ran the shock post through where the body post used to be because if I left the shock on any of the normal shock positionings it didn't bring the arm up enough so I just removed that the body post and put the shock there in its place and if you look let's see hold on everything's not right if you look see the level of that arm versus the level of this arm this one right here goes pretty straight across and then this one has a nice droop to it so i'm going to repeat this i'm going to take the body post off move the shock over to this hole like i did here and that will help bring the truck more level and that will lower the center of gravity so that's what i'm doing now on the back side if you look here, the back arm, the one that I haven't touched yet, it has a real dramatic angle. If you look at the one that I'm currently working on, it won't have, it'll be like, uh, let's see, it's loose. It'll be a lot straighter. It'll be about right there. So you can already see the difference on how that one, this arm runs straight out, and then this arm comes down at an angle. 
So that's my plan. That's what we're gonna start with. Also, we're gonna get rid of the two batteries, okay? I think the two batteries is adding weight, but I don't think it's necessary. I think if I go to a one battery, just one 22 point volt battery, okay? And then, hear me out, what if I ran like a lead weight, maybe like a, I don't know, maybe a two pound or a one pound lead weight on the front just to give me a little extra. I was thinking I could maybe mount it like right behind the shop tower, just put the brass weight right there or maybe even put it in the front somewhere up in here. Because uh, what happens is, is the power whoop, makes the thing do donuts. And I'm thinking about getting a wheelie bar too. Um, I actually have a wheelie bar, but it's it's little. It stops right here. I'm thinking I want one that comes all the way out to about here. So I may have to actually make one. And then with the third idea, the wing. I was thinking, you know what? I don't think this wing is giving me enough downforce. So if you pull out, this is the stock Arma wing. And it's all about downforce, right? If you look, if you put wing tip to wing tip, you can see that the armor wing is significantly wider. And that's important. I need as much downforce as I can possibly get with this truck. So we're going to remove the pro line wing and we're going to put the stock armor wing back on. So that's the plan for today. Those are just a couple of the ideas. Lower the center of gravity. Check. Get more downforce with the back wing, check. Add weight to the front, check, working on it. And then get rid of the battery, the two batteries. I think it's too much weight. Maybe it balances the truck out, I don't know. Tell me below in the comments what you guys think. What you guys say, I listen to. Believe it or not, your opinion is very valuable to me. So please tell me what you think. Also look, check this out guys. Our new uh, CPU cooler. This is for the build, not for the Dell workstation build that I'm doing, but this is for my personal gaming build that we're gonna do. I'm gonna build a really small compact gaming machine and I needed a CPU cooler. Look at this CPU cooler, dude. It looks like a turbine engine. It's all RGB. But bro, this thing is beefy, son. Look at this, man. I've had, I've bought CPU coolers similar to this and none of them are as big as this. This is just huge, it's beautiful. But I thought I would show it to you guys. If you guys want me to do a review or show this off, let me know, put a comment below on that. Um, but yeah, that's what's going down. All right. Here, yeah, I thought I would also show you guys this too. That looks normal, right? You don't really see nothing wrong with it, do you? How about now? Now do you see something wrong with it? Blew that insert of that tire right on out. I mean, look at it. The whole inside is just blown out. Brand new tires, too. These were pre-glued by the factory. But yeah, I, I spun that tire right on out of the rim. Dang, man, and that mud. Ooh, it muddy. And of course, the damage continues. As you can see, I managed to rip one of the shock posts out, and I managed to lose the other one. Also, the body is cracked and scratched. To pieces look at all the scratches all over it just absolutely beat it to pieces I mean it is all messed up look at that <laughs> look at that grind mark on top and the body sits crooked now it's see how it's like kind of crooked looking yeah all right so the Arma wing is back on but I want to show you guys something if you run RPM arms 
the shop pin holder that goes into these things, right? Look, that's as far as it goes. That's as far as it goes. So what you have to do is you have to drill that out a little. So this way that pin will then go all the way inside. Yep, all right. There we go. We're starting to achieve, look at that, leveled. This is gonna be good. Look at the level of that rear arm. And then look at the level of that rear arm. Definitely a dramatic difference. See, I got this whole right side nice and leveled and even. But you can see that the left side's not quite there yet. I still have to adjust it. So essentially what we've done is we remove this and move the shock up to the very top of the tower on the last position. And then down here, and then down here on the bottom, we move the pin over. And what that does is that also ticks the arm up just a little bit but yeah that should be pretty cool all right i think i'm done for the evening guys it's about three in the morning um the gopro ran out of footage a long time ago now since that tire is blown out i'll have to check these tires as well make sure that these are not also blown out um we got some good footage coming guys of the dell pc um been working on it tore it apart today we got part of it painting we got some of the new parts that came in for it rgb fans 240 gig ssd we're going to run a 1050 ti got a whole bunch of ram for it a piva captain series power supply that we're going to run and then we're also doing a little case modding which i went ahead and painted the front of it blue but this is for another video, so make sure to subscribe, leave a like. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. And if anybody ever wants to come over and help me clean up my shop, yeah, any volunteers would be welcome. Uh, also, I would like for you guys to rate my shop. What do you think of it? Would you give it a, I don't know, maybe a 6 out of 10? I don't know, it's a pretty big shop that I've managed to completely convert into my own doings. So, what do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Alright, I'll see you boys later.